This installation is another version of the original installation that was at Asia Society. And uh, at Asia Society, I wanted to uh, celebrate its professed mission, which was to build bridges between Asian America and Asia. It's a display of visual culture related to music. So it's interesting in the way that uh, the images speak to and suggest uh, multiple senses, not just sight, but the possibility that, that these are conveyors of sound. But obviously, you know, it is the primacy of the image that's uh, brought out in this work. But then uh, uh, for this installation, when I uh, initially took into account this particular site, I realized there's no way I could do a literal uh, translation of the Asia Society piece. So this wall gave me an opportunity to develop it anew. Um, and uh, also this time to be able to incorporate my uh, newly developing uh, interest in pop culture and giving myself over to uh, kind of, you know, some of the cultural intimacies that I think um, I've been developing in terms of really immersing myself in a lot of the forms, you know, the, the TV dramas, the movies, the, and the music. And the CDs that are added on uh, incorporate not only the new music, but also in some cases where I discovered I had a, just a greater knowledge of Korean music, I was able to put in some older uh, examples of uh, LP yeah. designs as well. But I love a lot of the um, LP design covers <laughs> and uh, the, the designs and uh, the images that are associated with music. Right, right. And in some ways, you know, I just think that pop culture is perhaps the most uh, elastic and fast-paced way of getting some pulse of what, what are sort of the cultural currents in the different countries. And um, so it's just fascinating to me in the ways in which uh, obviously pop culture is uh, just an amazing entry point into right. trying to get at some sense of a culture. It's an interesting negotiation for me to sort of uh, figure out with the help of others as well, you know, what are some of the major currents and touchstones of particular periods, you know, in the development of music and um, anyway, so it's been, you know, it's been an interesting uh, learning experience um, at the same time that I could sort of revel in the visual pleasure of it all. Sometimes I think this work is quite different than a lot of the other works that I've done in that it's much more exuberantly decorative. <laughs> but on the other hand, um, it seems to uh, fit the green circle. Why green? Because I didn't want it to have such a naturalistic read. And uh, I thought, obviously, the, these curves you know, obviously ha have a strong suggestion of the wave, yeah. but I also didn't want it to be so literally read as a landscape. Right. And I wanted something there that, um, you know, could be sure. read in different ways, and it could be this abstract green circle mm -hmm. that is a uh, plays off of all the uh, circular forms, but, uh, you know, perhaps if people want to see that as a moon or a sun or have some sort of naturalistic uh, associations, that's fine too. But it was uh, something intuitive to, to put something big there. <laughs> I always feel that every work is a search for form. And uh, so form actually becomes really um, a very important, significant mm -hmm. part of my art making. Yeah. A starting point for my art certainly is a broad range of interests, you know, yeah. whether it's in history, anthropology, sociology, politics, or whatever. But, but ultimately, I'm always um, in a search for form.